friends of the TIG. My name is Anna and I'm going to show you how to get around Mannheim. But I'm especially going to show you how to get to the TIG. So we can go to the performances. Now did you guys ever wonder where the name TIG 7 comes from? in Mannheim, which is the castle, palace, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to start our journey here. So the first thing you have to know is how the city of Mannheim is laid out. It's like a checkerboard. Okay, picture this. You are the king or queen of Mannheim and you live here in this palace in the Schloss and you're overlooking the city from your I don't know from your living room so as the Queen of Mannheim I am NOT going to give each street a name no no that that's silly because people won't remember the fancy long German names so how about if we give each block a letter and a number so let's start like over there for example let's make that first block a1 the next block over is going to be a2 a3 a4 etc isn't that pretty by the way okay and as we go further away from the Schloss uh, it'll be b1 c1 d1 until we hit K because there's no more room and that's just where it stops okay so let's continue on this side with L1 so this block is gonna be L1 let's call that one L2 L3 L4 and so on and so forth and as we go away from the Schloss where well this was L1 so the next one over is going to be M1 and then N1 and O1 and so on and so forth Okay, let me get closer so you can see what I mean. So you have L1 there and right across the street you have A1. So TIG 7 means theater in G7. So the theater is actually in the block G7. See how easy? So now that you know that that is A1, that means to get to G7, you're gonna have to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And once you get to G, you're gonna go to the left seven blocks over until you get to seven. Or maybe between six and seven. <laughs> so it's gonna be seven down and seven across. Easy as that. Oh, and by the way, there's no king or queen here now. This is actually the University of Mannheim. Now it's very probable that you might arrive to Mannheim by train. So what happens if you arrive here at the train station and you have to look for the TIG? Now what? At the Schloss it was very easy because that's where the numbering and the lettering start. But from here, what do you do now? <laughs> where to? Come on, tell me, where to? Well I do notice that there it says L15. Yeah, and? <laughs> now what? Okay, so we have to find G7. That means we have to go on the other side of the grid, right? <laughs> so, we're not going to complicate matters here for you. Uh, I suggest that you know like the main landmarks here in Mannheim. Okay, so we have the train station right there, right? We all agree on that. Alright, if we go straight ahead, I'm just going to turn so you can see it. We are going to find the water tower, which is also a very uh, popular landmark here. So let's look for the water tower and then we'll take it from there. So what I'm doing is I'm walking along Kaiser Ring and that goes from the train station to the water tower. Okay, so I found the water tower and now we're going to go along the Planken, which is a street of shops. It's a very busy shopping area. But that is going to take us to the next landmark or the next square that you guys should uh, know. So this street they call the Planken is between 
O7 and P7, those two blocks, okay? There's some heavy duty shopping going on here, okay? So if you guys wanna buy anything, there are drug stores here. Uh, there are also bookstores and bakeries or whatever you guys want. So there's the water tower and I'm still walking down that way. And I'm totally ignoring the lettering and the numbering because we're gonna go, in this case, we're gonna go from uh, landmark to landmark. So we're going from the water tower to Parada Platz. Okay, so I've been walking away from the water tower straight on the planking and here is Parada Platz, okay? This is another major uh, square. And you're gonna use it as a reference point, okay? You're gonna meet people here, you're gonna take the tram here. There are a lot of trams stopping here. Uh, but I don't know if you can see, but back there is the Schloss. Now, I'm going to the TIG here uh, from landmark to landmark, but from the train station, we could have taken a different route than the one we're taking right now. And uh, you could take the L, or along the L, and then end up at L1, and then continue on what I explained before, going down seven and over seven, remember? So uh, you could do it that way. I mean, you could zigzag if you want. So this is where it gets confusing for me because you have P1, which is one side of the grid, remember? And then over here is E1. So yeah, that's where it can be a little confusing because you're hopping from E to P, all right? Just to remind you, on this side is A1, and on that side is L1, where we were before, okay? So that's why it's going from P to E. <laughs> The two sides of the grid, right? The numbering on one side and then the numbering on the other side. That's what makes it a little confusing. All right, so when you arrive to Parada Platz, you make a right. And the right is gonna be that way. And we're going to go to Mark Platz, which is Market Square. And then the TIG is gonna be like five minutes away. And this is Mark Platz. Marked Platz or Market Square. They have a market here on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday mornings. Okay, this is where you have to put your thinking caps on. This is F1, right? So in front of me should be G1, but it's Mark Platz, so there's no block here. But we're at the G now, right? And we have to go to G7. The next one over is G2, and it's gonna continue on. Okay, so that's G2, the next one is G3, G4, G5, G6, and finally G7. So yeah, you could go that way, but to complicate things a little bit more, I'm gonna take the next street over because Tick 7 is in between these two blocks. I'm gonna go along that street because it's a little bit more amusing. It has shops and you could see a little bit of the Turkish culture here. They have real good uh, Turkish pastries and shops and just, you know, it's a little bit more amusing than that street that is more residential. So the block is still G2, but it's between G2 and H2. That's where I'm walking, between those two. G3. G4, let's continue. G5, G6, we're getting closer. And finally G7. So I'm finally at G7. Uh, remember, G7 is the whole entire block. It's the whole block. It's four streets. There is a sign for the theater. It says TIG 7 there. There's a hotel there if anybody wants to stay. Okay, remember I took the street that would be more amusing? <laughs> There's TIG 7, right? <laughs> well, the street that is less amusing that was more residential is this one. And you could see the tower of Mark Plotz there. So see how close it is? So you have to go through here. OK, 
Okay, so this is the block where we find TIG 7. There are two signs there. There's a big sign there. These are the activities for the month. You see the program here. And this is the entrance to the theater here. Alright, I walked all the way here, but you guys could have taken a tram. You could take a tram to Mark Platz and then uh, walk on over to G7. I'm going to show you how to buy the ticket. So, English. The single ticket would be 250 You pick how many you want and just pay there. Let's go back. Because that's if you travel within Mannheim. But there are different areas that you could travel to and different like uh, regions that you could go to. So different fees. The further you go out, the more expensive it is. So let's say you go to step by step and then you write your destination. Let's say I want to go to Heidelberg. H-E-I Heidelberg. It asks you how you want to get there, like what route you want to take. I don't know. Let's just take this one. It's one trip. I don't have a train card. Oops. And you pay five sixty for that. Okay? And just pay there. I hope it wasn't too complicated for you. If you know how the grid works, no problem. And even when you do know how the grid works, sometimes it can get a little tricky. Uh, but if you follow the directions I gave you, uh, you won't have a problem. And check a map. <laughs>